What? Where is it? Hey guys. Hegyeong doesn't know what I'm taking her for breakfast, but it's a place nearby here, here in Old Town Phuket. It's a busy morning. People are working on the road, a lot of things going on. But where we are going is, can you guess? I have no idea. All right, we're going here. I don't know, I just found it on Google. Looks uh, local enough, cheap enough, and it's basically Phuket local street food. So oh. let's go and it's like a food court with different places. It's like, it's like Hawker Center in Singapore. Kind of, yeah, a bit more modern. But let's see what we find. All the names are in Thai, which is a good sign. No English, so right? That sounds pretty local. Good price, good price, yeah, very good. This is pakra pao, right? Pakra pao, like rice with vegetables. Oh, different ingredients, original chicken. Oh, chicken basil is one of my favorite things. But I'm not sure in, from the morning if I'm up for this. Yeah, it might be a bit too spicy, you know. Wow, pineapple fried rice, one hundred. This is a question: Would you eat fried rice from no. the morning? No, not not today. <laughs> Not today. Maybe, maybe for no, lunch. No, I can, but not today. Yeah, exactly, because I, I'd rather eat it for lunch. Yeah. Strut pork over rice. Strut, strut I guess. Yeah. Look at this sandwich with pork. Mm. Rice. Hainanese chicken and rice, not Thanks, bad. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I love Hainan chicken rice for breakfast. It, it always comes with this kind of soup where they boil the chicken. So if you eat this with the rice, it's really, really good. This is some more rolls. It seems like not many shops are open. I think it's still too early or maybe we came too late because everything starts early here. Now it's almost 10, so I guess some shops are already up and they reopen for lunch or something. Coffee and tea. Maybe you could have some tea with your breakfast. So? Okay, what's your choice? I think I will go for the Hainanese chicken and rice. Yeah, might be the same for me. Okay. Sabatika. Sabatika. Can we have one Hainan chicken rice and one chicken Thai wonton soup? Hello. Can we have two Thai tea? Yeah. Ice? Uh, uh, one hot. One cold. Yeah, super good I need. Ah, we, we already ordered. Sorry, thank you. So I got my tea, black tea with sweetened milk. It's good, it looks good. So before the meal, I'm gonna have some hot tea to warm my stomach. <laughs> I'm gonna have it cold because, you know, it's really hot and I like cold stuff. Good, as always. Thank you. So, to be honest, the menu itself is not super, super exciting. It's just a local food market, but, 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 there's a really good point. The setting, the whole setting is very modern and it looks very clean. You know, when you sometimes go to a local market, local food market, you feel like, oh, it's, the local price is cheap and it's good, but you feel like maybe it can be a little bit cleaner. I, I don't want to say cleaner, but you, you know what I mean, right? But it seems very new, uh, you know, clean and modern. So yeah, I think more and more people will come here because the food price is very cheap. And the food, we haven't tried it yet, but it looks very nice. This one is not spicy, so I can be a bit You can be more generous with it. Jealous. Jealous? Yeah. Generous. Generous. Ooh, one thing that I do is I mix it with the soup a little bit, so it's more moist. 
All right, let's give it a try to this chicken soup with one mm. mm. Nice and hot. This place looks very modern, and as Hakyun said, it's not like the typical street food market on the street with the cars passing by. It's a bit like tucked inside. It has fans, so heat is not a big problem. Yeah. And probably at some point in the day when all the stalls are open, might be very active and busy. I don't even know if there's live music, maybe, but it feels good, yeah. But as I said, it looks pretty recently open. Does it open until late night? No, breakfast and lunch. Oh. It's so different from, from me that I'm from Europe, from Spain, to eat meat in the morning, like soup, hot stuff. That's very Asian, and I still feel like every time I go to Heikyung's house, Heikyung's parents' house, we have soup for breakfast. I like it, but I'm still not used to it. Because every time we go back to Spain, we never have soup there. Exactly. And do you miss it? I don't really miss it. Now I'm used to eating like Western style, I, I would say, like a Western style breakfast. Like, like milk some, and coffee. Some eggs, oatmeal, porridge or something. Sandwiches, ham, some oh, jamon. Yeah, yeah, but when we travel here, it's not super new to me though. But I'm used to this kind of you know, breakfast when, back, back when I was staying with my parents in Korea. And actually, don't you feel like once you have this kind of breakfast, you don't really feel hungry until late in the of afternoon? Of course not, because I'm full. So that's a good advantage, to mm, have some big breakfast. If you have activity to do, yes. If you have to be at home lazy or in the office, I think I wouldn't have this every day. Yeah, but if you have to walk, exactly. climb, hike, and do what we usually do that when traveling... That forces you to exercise a bit, no? It doesn't force me, but... I feel less guilty eating this because I know that I'm gonna burn those calories or you know like do some exercise, physical activity. So it's I don't feel guilty. Yeah. What is your kind of favorite breakfast? Leave it in the comments. All right. So we are in the big. Buddha temple, the most popular places here in Phuket. Uh, we were a bit skeptical, but uh, why not? We are here, so let's just check this out. They say it's a must visit, but Look at my this. first impression when we came, by the way, it's a very steep path. Uh, <laughs> we could see some quads going up and down and some motorbikes, but if you're not confident with your own bike or with your own legs, oh uh, maybe take a taxi or because it's very <laughs> steep. Exactly. Even going up, I could hear my ears like popping when you go like up on a plane or... By the way, look at the views. I mean, check the big Buddha. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. There's a monkey right there. Oh no. We have a bad memory of a monkey when we were visiting the monkey park in Japan. The monkey got up on my back, so I just screamed like hell. But, oh, there's another one. One of the things that shocked me when we arrived is that it's crowded with tourists. I thought it was just a temple on the top of a hill that you just go and it's quiet and peaceful. It feels more like a theme park than a Buddhist temple, to be honest. I mean, crazy amount of people. Uh, you can tell COVID is over and tourism is up again. It's insane. Yeah, but the views here is amazing. It's definitely worth coming here. I mean, like Jordi said that you cannot uh, expect some quiet, <laughs> peaceful environment, but still the views are quite enjoyable. It's very pleasant. You can smell the incense from the temple and then someone is chanting inside. I feel like Oh, not inside, but actually outside here from the speaker. <laughs> it's not live. <laughs> but anyway, it makes a good atmosphere. Like in many of these places, people put their wishes and other requests in this kind of a tree with this golden, not hearts, I think these are lotus petals. Check out this flying Garuda. Flying Garuda. We saw many of these guys in 
Angkor Wat, in the temples of Angkor. Each of these statues right here have a day of the week assigned. I'm guessing this is like a donation box. This one says Friday Buddha, room phone posture, hands in front of your chest. Thursday Buddha, Thursday Buddha, <laughs> Thursday Buddha, with a Samati or Trasru posture. You're quite familiar with this one, right? With different postures, this is the Wednesday night and Wednesday Buddha. Quite different, right? Then we have the reclining from Tuesday, the Sayat posture. For those of you gamers out there, remember the Sagat stage in Street Fighter 2? That's not it. <laughs> oh, wow, it's huge. When I saw this Buddha from the, from the beach, uh, it looks very small, but of course, if, when I'm near here, it's huge. And it's not just the white color, but you see the different layers of the color, like a gray, dark gray, and white, and ivory, and different colors made with stone. Quite impressive. I'm expecting another great view. Oh, well, it's just a parking lot. You see how many cars are coming inside? It's like a theme park. And as a theme park, we have an exclusive of the next attraction here in construction. It's the new two statues with orange robes. There's another viewpoint uh, right over there. So we're gonna head there to see. This little viewpoint is a bit tucked between trees and rocks. Guys, you won't believe what happened. <laughs> we were thinking getting a taxi on the way down from the Big Buddha mountain, but taxis are a bit difficult to get. They might not come to all the way up. So we find ourselves going down kind of a hiking trail down the jungle. Yeah, we're gonna do, I think, supposed to be only 20 minutes, but I'm already sweating. We've been walking for five minutes only, right? So join us on this jungle adventure. Let's go. Actually, this is not too bad. I mean, going up might be a bit hard because I see it's not, it's kind of, kind of steep, but going down, I think it's kind of okay. Actually, not many people are here. <laughs> On the big Buddha temple, there are a lot of people. So we were, we were a little bit overwhelmed by the crowd, but now there are actually no people here. And then we see the sound of the insects and we are just walking down the forest. It's actually very nice. So most of people here, when they come, they take a taxi from the hotel, whatever, and the taxi waits for them. So you go up with the taxi, go down with the taxi. We did the mistake of taking a Bolt or a Grab, I don't remember, one of those taxi apps to come all the way here. They dropped us. And then on the way down, uh, of course, we tried to book, but no one is coming wow. this far. It's very steep. Oh my God. What Look the? at the view.
Well, the good thing about this hike is at least we are under shade because going down this way with the sunny weather we have today, not so good. Marika, almost there. Yeah, and I'm happy too. Happy. Marika. Monkey down there. There's a monkey. Monkey. A lot, yeah, a lot of monkeys. Oh, Friendly oh monkey God. or dangerous monkey? Oh, we gotta put our water inside the backpack. The things we do to save money for taxis. <laughs> now be careful here. It's a double danger or something because we're going downhill, grabbing the rope and monkeys on both sides. So you've got to be careful with this. You hear sounds on both sides of the path. The monkeys are right there. Sitting. I see, I see, I know. Okay, don't go to the monkey I know, side. I know, I know. Go to the right. I'm away from the monkey. There's so many men, they're surrounding us. Okay. I can he I can see them in the treetops. Oh my God. I don't know how many monkeys are here, but many. Good thing that they are shy and they don't come to us. Exactly. Right? I think we kind of passed the area where all the monkeys are gathered. So let's speed up a bit. What were you know they doing? what the monkeys are doing there? Oh, no, 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 I didn't see. Monkey business. It's very slippery there. Yeah, man. Guys, you're so lucky YouTube doesn't have a smell feature because <laughs> I'm smelling sweaty so much. Oh, we're almost there. Yay. Yay. Oh, the views. Check it out. Oh my God. Nice. Okay. Okay, oh, we no. start seeing hotels, houses, oh, buildings. No. Okay, gotta be careful here because there's no rope. Yeah, it's very steep and slippery, probably. Wait, there's no better way than this. Check this out, these views, guys. It's amazing. Let's take a mini break. The views from here, not bad. You can see some of the big hotels and resorts by the beach. I think this might be Calum uh. Beach. You good? Oh. You're sweating, I know, I see. It's very hot. But you're fine, right? And the road is a little bit like slippery, so I'm just being extra careful. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> yeah, there should be a better path than this. Exactly. Damn. Well, proper shoes might help. Just go a bit fast. Woo! <laughs> Good. That's disgusting. That's how I do it. Well, it seems we are reaching the bottom of this hill. It's a nice hike, actually. I mean, going up, it's not that crazy, right? Probably. For me, I think, oof! <laughs> I think, I think oof, oof! <laughs> going up might be very difficult, but still, it's, it's doable, I would say. Yay! Are you hungry? I'm really hungry. Really? Very hungry, okay, yeah. Probably we're gonna grab some food in the civilization, city, whatever. <laughs> But I think this episode ends here. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, uh, please subscribe to our channel. And we're, got, and we're going to see you guys soon on another... Oh, and, we're going to, <laughs> and we're going to see you guys soon on another episode. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye. And we're going to get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it.